This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am Elder Larry Elston. And I'm Elder Stephanie Elston. We just welcome you today to Friday's Midday Mealtime Review. And on behalf of our great Bishop Marcus Aaron Johnson Sr. of the New Harvest Ministries, we thank you for being with us one more time. Now, if you would just live chat, I never would have made it without you. Never would have made it because we are thankful. Yeah, I thank God it's Friday and we know who have us here another week. And thank you for bringing us through it, Lord. And thank you for being here. Thank you for live chatting. And thank you for touching that like button. Hit that like button today. And the subscribers, we thank you. And, and if you're not a subscriber, please do. And thank you for coming on board. And pull your chair up to the table now. And let us feast on the word that we have gotten all during the week from our bishop. Thank you one more time. Now, just let's let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you and we give you the praise this morning, all the glory, all of the honor. We thank you because we can come together again in your name and Lord, just expound on your word. We thank you for giving us the word all during the week that we can grow from. And we thank you for giving us grace and mercy. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Praise God for another week yes. of review yes. of our lessons. God has been so gracious. Yes. Our theme, as you know, is living to see increase. Our focus scripture for our theme is Psalm 27, 13 through 14. Yes. I'm going to begin with Monday's lesson. The title is Faith for Pentecost. Faith for Pentecost. The text is John 14, 16 through 18. It reads, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you, forever, mm -hmm. even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, mm -hmm. but ye know him, mm -hmm. for he dwelleth in you, with you, and shall be in you. Amen. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yes, yes. Now, Pentecost... Is what we're talking about in our series. And we're excited that Pentecost is coming up on Sunday. Sunday yes. As we celebrate mm -hmm. the beginning and the birth of the church. Pentecost began 50 days after Jesus was resurrected from the dead. Mm -hmm. And it commemorates the descent of the promised gift of the Holy Spirit on the apostles and other disciples following the crucifixion, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ. Pentecost becomes the official birthday of the Christian church. Now, what is faith? Bishop's definition of faith is all about the who. And concerning Pentecost, mm -hmm. who is the object of my faith? Mm -hmm. Faith always has to have an object. Jesus is the who of Pentecost. Wow. Without Jesus, there would be no Amen. Pentecost. John 14, 16. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Mm. I like one. 
faith for Pentecost is in Jesus, the promise maker, that he would pray to the Father to send another comforter. Mm -hmm. Mark eleven twenty two, and Jesus answered, saying unto them, Have faith in God. Mm -hmm. John fifteen twenty six. But when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. John 20, 21, 22. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you as my Father have sent me, even so send I you. And when he said this, he breathed on them, said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Now the key... <clears throat> Is faith in God as the promise maker enables God the Son to pray to God the Father to send the Holy Spirit to empower mankind just as God the Father sent God the Son mm -hmm. to save mankind. Mm -hmm. I like to faith for Pentecost is in Jesus the promise maker that he would pray to the Father to send another comforter to dwell with and in mankind. Amen. Key point. Faith in God is the promise maker. He enables God the Son to pray to God the Father to send the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to comfort us by continuously teaching, revealing his truth. I like number three. Mm -hmm. Faith for Pentecost is in Jesus, mm -hmm. the promise maker, that he would pray to the Father mm -hmm. to send another comforter to dwell with and in mankind, mm -hmm. never leaving, even to the ultimate residing with him forever. <clears throat> Matthew 28, 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Mm. That was part of the Great Commission. Yes. Key. Faith in God, the promise maker, enables God the Son to pray to the God the Father, to send the Holy Spirit, mm. to permanently abide in us, as children and heirs of God. Yes. Final key. Faith for Pentecost requires faith in the who. And the who is Jesus. Amen. The promise maker. An embodiment of the Godhead. Sending the Holy Spirit to indwell us. For empowerment. Teaching revelation. And making us his family. Amen. Amen, Elder Stephanie. And that faith in Jesus leads us right into Tuesday's lesson, mm -hmm. which is believing in Jesus too. Believing, the title is Believing for Pentecost. Mm -hmm. The text is John 14, 10 through 14. And it reads as thus, Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Or else believe me for the very works sake. Amen. Mm -hmm. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, mm -hmm. somebody say amen, that will I do. Hallelujah. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, oh, hear this now, anything in my name, I will do it. We'll just hit the live chat and say, 
I believe, but help me, Lord, with my unbelief. Amen. 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 That's what's going to take us through. It's our belief. And Pentecost, uh, definition of Pentecost. Pentecost began 50 days after Jesus was resurrected from the dead. It commemorates the descent of the promised mm -hmm. gift of the Holy Spirit on the apostles and other disciples following the crucifixion, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ. Pentecost becomes the official birthday. Hear this now of the Christian church. Amen. And believing is all about the what. Concerning Pentecost, what is the content of my belief? The words and promises of Jesus are the content and substance of which I believe. So it's the word. Amen. That's where we get our belief. Highlight number one from Bishop told us this. Believing for Pentecost was to embrace the words of Jesus, the promise maker, as truth. John 14 through 6 tells us, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. Now, highlight number two. Believing for Pentecost was to embrace the words of Jesus, the promise maker, as truth and accepting his work as his validation. Amen. And then we go to John 5, 36 to 37. But I have greater witness than that of John for the works which the Father had given me to finish. The same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father had sent me. And the Father himself, which has sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. Amen. Highlight number three. Believing for Pentecost was to embrace, listen now, was to embrace the words of Jesus the promise maker as true, accepting his works as his validation, encouraging greater works by the Holy Spirit to be done. Amen. It's all through the Holy Spirit within us. Mm -hmm. John 21 and 25 tells us this. And there are also many other things which Jesus did, the which if they should be written, everyone, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. Oh, the works. Oh, so many works the Lord did for us. Highlight number four. Believing for Pentecost was to embrace the works of Jesus, the promise maker as true, accepting his work as his validation, encouraging greater work to be done by the Holy Spirit, guaranteeing answered prayers. You got it guaranteed, church. Your prayers will and shall be answered. John 16, 23 and 24 in the Living Bible tells us this. You have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and then you will rejoice, and no one can rob you of that joy. Come on. Nobody can take that joy. At that time, you won't need to ask me for anything, for you can go directly to the Father and ask him. And he will give you what you ask for because you use my name. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You haven't tried this before, but began now. Ask using my name, and you will receive, and your cup of joy will overflow. This is a promise, church. Keep it. Mm -hmm. The key we get from this all is just as Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, was able to pray effectively unto the Father and minister under the anointing, believing for Pentecost, opened the door for all candidates to experience the same victory 
as did Jesus. So we have the victory. Amen. Somebody say we have the victory. Amen. 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 Praise God. Yes. On Monday, it was all about faith. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, all about belief. Yes. The teaching on today, Wednesday, for Wednesday's lesson is trust. Mm. So we have to have faith, belief, and now trust. Trusting for Pentecost. Mm -hmm. The text is Luke 24, 48, and 49. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. Holy Spirit, fall upon us. Yes. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power mm. from on high. Mm. What a promise. Mm. Trust. Trust is all about accepting the why and the how. Amen. Concerning Pentecost, what is the why and how? Mm -hmm. I'm trusting the promise maker about and for. Mm -hmm. Witnesses of Jesus tarrying in Jerusalem is about the why and how mm -hmm. of Pentecost. Luke 24, 49 in the Living Bible. You have seen these promises come true. Yes, you've seen them. Prophecies, I'm sorry. And now I will send the Holy Spirit upon you. Mm -hmm. Just as my father promised. Mm -hmm. God had promised that he was going to send the Holy Spirit. Don't begin by telling others yet. Mm -hmm. You know how we do. We want to tell everybody. Yes, yes. When something good is going on. Yes. But he said, don't say it yet. Mm -hmm. But stay where you are in this city. Until the Holy Spirit comes mm. and fills you with power from heaven. Mm. Power is what we need. Yes, yes, yes. The Holy Ghost power. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm. Highlight, highlight number one. Trusting for Pentecost was for candidates that had faith in the mm -hmm. promise maker. Mm -hmm. Belief in his promises. Mm -hmm. And trusted in his methods. Amen. I'm going to read the second and third highlight together. Fall with these uh, promises that they will flow together. Mm -hmm. Trusting for Pentecost is for candidates that had faith in the promise maker. Yes. Believe in his promises. Trusted in his methods. But waited before they shared their stories. Now we want to ask why. Mm -hmm. Highlight number three tells us trusting for Pentecost required the candidates that had faith in the promise, belief in his promises, trusted in his methods, mm -hmm. waited before they shared their stories in Jerusalem. Why? Mm -hmm. Put yourself in that place mm. as a candidate mm. that you want to receive the gift that God has promised. Amen. But you want to obey the instructions. Mm. Proverbs said, see, 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Mm -hmm. Lean not on your own understanding. Amen. But in all your ways acknowledge him. Yes. But Luke 24, 44 through 49 says, And he said unto them, These are the words that I spoke unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, in the prophets, in the Psalms concerning me. Jesus is taking them all the way back to the prophets. Yes. That opened our understanding that they might understand the scriptures. We must get an understanding of the word of God. Mm -hmm. And said unto them, Thus it is written, mm -hmm. and thus it behooved Christ to suffer 
and to rise from the dead on the third yes, day. Yes. And that repentance and remission mm -hmm. of sins should be preached in his name oh, yes. among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem was where everything began. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father unto you. But tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from mm -hmm. on high. Mm -hmm. So it's very important for them to know the promise is coming, mm -hmm. but they have to wait on it. You have to wait on the promise. So we have to know. Amen. The promises of God are coming to us, mm -hmm. but we got to wait Amen. for Amen. God's time. Amen. Acts 1 and 8, but you shall receive power mm -hmm. after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, mm -hmm. and you shall be witnesses unto me, mm -hmm. both in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, mm -hmm. and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Amen. Acts 2 and 4 through 8. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Now this is when the action was received. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Began to speak with other tongues mm. as the Spirit gave them utterance. Mm. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. So it wasn't just for the Jews. It was for everybody. Amen. Now when this noise abroad, multitudes gained together and were confounded. They were confused. Mm -hmm. Because every man heard them speak in his own language. Amen. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to one another, Behold, are not all these who speak Galileans? Mm. In other words, how do they know how to speak other languages? Amen. <laughs> and how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? Mm -hmm. Acts 2, 12. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, mm -hmm. saying to one another, what mean of this? Mm. And Acts 2, 41, then they that gladly received his word gladly. were baptized mm -hmm. and the same day were added about 3,000 souls. Mm. Hallelujah. <clears throat> God added to the church. Mm. God did it. Amen. Mm. We got to know that God has to do this yes. by his Holy Spirit. Yes. So the key for Wednesday's lesson is the initial Pentecost experience was set aside for those chosen candidates that were witnesses of Jesus' ministry, death, burial, and resurrection. They had faith in Jesus as the promise maker and belief in what he promised, trusted his instructions. Therefore, after being filled, they impacted 3,000 men the first day when this mission had just begun. Mm -hmm. Bishop gave a formula oh, yes. that I want to share, mm -hmm. which says faith in Jesus as the who. Mm -hmm. Plus belief in Jesus' words. Yes. That's what? Mm -hmm. Plus trust in the why and how yes, yes. he moves equals Pentecost. Amen. Faith, belief, and trust, remember, equals Pentecost. Amen. Amen. You know what jumped out at me from your lesson there is the people who gladly received the word mm -hmm. of God was the ones who was delivered. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. And I thank the Lord for that as we move into Thursday's lesson. I see how it ties in. Amen. And this lesson is, is such a great lesson. I enjoyed mm -hmm. it so much the whole week yes. because it tells us the birth of the, how the birth of the church is within us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the title for Thursday is Pentecostal Hope Realized. Mm -hmm. First, we got to realize what mm -hmm. thy hope is in the Lord through his word. Amen. Mm -hmm. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, this is what Acts 2.1 tells us. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And Bishop talked about unity. Mm -hmm. That's what this is talking about too, that when we come on one accord mm -hmm. and in one place, and we fellowship with one another, that is unity in the church. Amen. And that's how the church began, in unity. Mm -hmm. And Pentecost, as I read before, began 50 days after Jesus resurrected from the dead. It commemorates the descent of promised gift of the Holy Spirit on the apostles and other disciples following the crucifixion resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ. Pentecost becomes the official birthday of the Christian church. Mm -hmm. Somebody say happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> yes. Hope is all about an expectation for something to take place. Therefore, Pentecostal hope was a confident expectation that the gift of the Holy Spirit would come as promised. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, just waiting. God, thank you for your promises. Highlight number one, Pentecostal hope was realized during the Old Testament observance of Harvest Festival. Mm -hmm. Now, the Harvest Festival is the same as the Festival of Pentecost. Fifty days later, you shall bring to the Lord an offering of a sample of the new grain of your later crops. This shall consist of two loaves of bread from your homes to be weighed before the Lord in a gesture of offering. Bake this bread from a fifth of a bushel of fine flour containing yeast. It is an offering to the Lord of the first sampling of your later crops. Along with the bread and the wine, you shall sacrifice as burnt offerings to the Lord Seven yearling lambs without defects, one young bull, and two rams. All are fire offerings, very acceptable to Jehovah. And you shall offer one male goat for a sin offering and two male yearlings. Amen. Amen. Highlight number two tells the Pentecostal hope was realized when 120 souls were unified. Talking mm -hmm. again about unity. Amen. Mm -hmm. Matthew 18, 19 through 20. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them in my Father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, listen now, there am I in the midst of them. Mm -hmm. Highlight number three as we move along. Pentecostal hope was realized when 120 souls were unified in their faith, in their belief, and their trust in God. Mm -hmm. And Mark 11, 22 to 24 explains, And Jesus answered, said unto them, Have faith in God. Mm -hmm. For verily I said to you, that whoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he has said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen. It's very simple. <laughs> Highlight number four. Pentecostal hope was realized when 120 souls was unified in their faith, belief, trust in God, gathered in one place. 
Amen. And Acts 1, 4 explains, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father. Wait on him, church. Mm -hmm. Which shall he, ye have heard of me. Amen. Wait on him. And what is our key? The perfect key to Pentecost that Bishop gave us was the power of unity that unlocked the womb of God and birthed the church. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Just text hallelujah, hallelujah for the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise God. And thank God for another Friday review. Amen. And Bishop has given us so much information. Yes. Done such a great teaching on Pentecost. And, and we just want to pray and thank God for this week. Yes. God, we thank you and we praise you. Thank you. We praise you. God. We give you the glory and the honor. We thank you for revealing, God, more of your word to us during this week mm. of awesome teaching. Yes. God, thank you for the keys to know, God, that we need faith, belief, trust, and hope. Yes, Lord. And God, we know that Pentecost, God, is a special celebration. Thank you, Lord. Of, of who you are. Thank you, Lord. God, and what you, the gift that you want to give us. Yes. So help us to receive. Help us, God. God, your gift. And God, let us be witnesses in this world of the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Mm. And we will give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. praise God. We love you all. God love bless you. you. God bless.